you need these books and i'm finna prove it if you need an enemies to lovers romance between two rival true crime podcasters then check out crimes of passion by jack harvin basically these two men are at a podcast convention and they do not get along but this woman approaches them and says that her daughter is a fan who listens to both of their podcasts. However, her daughter recently passed away and her dream was for them to work together. So of course they don't wanna let her down so they put their hate aside and work together. And then they realize that they feel more than just hate for each other. Also, just look at that adorable cover. I'ma love a pink cover every time. If you're in need of a sci-fi book about a team of queer alien hunters, The Sevenfold Hunters by Rose E. Gale is for you. This has a whole team of hunters who are training to fight alien vampires. And almost the whole team is queer. And there are two point of view characters. One is queer and both of them are black girls. So go get into it. If you're looking for a graphic novel with gorgeous pink illustrations and a love triangle between a cheerleader, a soccer player, and the team's mascot, you will love Belle of the Ball by Marie Costa. You might not have known that you were looking for that, but you're looking for it. Who doesn't want a love triangle between a cheerleader, a soccer player, and a mascot? We love it. And like I said earlier, I'ma love a pink cover every single time. This cover is gorgeous and all of the illustrations in the book are gorgeous and very pink as well. If you want to get your heart broken, then this novel in verse about the horrors of the music industry is for you. Muted by Tammy Charles. If you want to cry, this is the one for you. If you want to get your heart broken, this one is for you. But the poetry is just so beautiful that you won't even mind the brokenheartedness. Well, you're going to mind, but it'll be worth it. You'll even thank the author for breaking your heart. If you're in the mood for a quick, soft, sweet, sapphic romance, you'll love Soft on Soft by Mina Wahid. If you just need an easy read that you can curl up with and just relax, get this one. Because they're just so sweet and cute. It was truly, truly adorable. Before I continue, comment down below and let me know your favorite queer book that not enough people know about. Or just leave me a red heart emoji down in the comments so that I know that you made it this far into the video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to join our book tribe. Now let's get back into it. If you need a dark fantasy with witches, curses, and a magical school, you need The Witchery by S. Isabel. First of all, do you see this cover? It's gorgeous. It's perfection. It's one of my favorite covers ever. And these four witches have to get together and break a curse on their town that causes wolves to rise up from the town swamp and feed. Somebody needs to break that curse because you're not going to be feeding on me. Also, there's a sequel to this one that comes out in September that I am incredibly excited for. If you're in the mood for a revenge-fueled, incredibly creepy horror story, then you need to pick up We Don't Swim Here by Vincent Tirado. I also loved Burn Down, Rise Up by this same author, which is another sapphic horror story. But that one does get a little bit more hype than We Don't Swim Here. This one is like a new release. It just came out a couple months ago and it is not getting the love that it deserves. It's so creepy and mysterious, but once you figure out what's going on, you're going to root for the villain. And I use the term villain very loosely because all the revenge is well deserved. But let me hush before I tell y'all everything. <laughs> Go read it. If you're looking for a book about complex family dynamics and finding yourself and first love, I recommend Things We Couldn't Say by J. Coles. There really is not enough representation for bisexual boys, especially bisexual black boys. So I was so excited to read this and I really, really enjoyed it. And our main character is finding first love while simultaneously dealing with his mother who left his family eight years ago 
coming back into his life and he has to decide like does he want to give her another chance does he want to tell her to leave him alone he has to figure out how he feels and then work through those feelings plus he has a little brother and their relationship was so cute i love them so much and you really do just love so many of the characters while reading this if you want a book where you just gonna fall in love with main and side characters yes this one and these next two books are books that i just cannot shut up about and i won't shut up about them i refuse because they're that amazing if you need an emotional but beautiful fantasy about three amateur teen witches trying to bring their friend who died back from the dead you need deep in providence by riz m nielsen this book really just gives you everything almost anything that you are looking for can be found in that book it's emotional, magical, creepy at times. It's got lovable characters, witchy aunties. It's just got everything. I honestly believe that if people read it, it will like blow up and get so popular. Everybody will love it if they read it, I promise. Just read it. If you're looking for a fun but high stakes fantasy about a found family of magicians going on a road trip, then you need The Black Veins by Asia Monet. As a matter of fact, it's right here. This book is what made me realize that I love the found family trope because I just love everybody so much. Well, almost everybody. We ain't gonna talk about that one character. Also, if you are looking for a book with no romance at all, this is perfect because not every book needs romance. And I wish more people realized that. Sometimes you're just not in the mood for it, and The Black Veins is perfect for that. Speaking of The Black Veins, the author, Asia Monet, has a horror story in the upcoming anthology, All These Sunken Souls, edited by Cersei Moskowitz. And an early copy of that book was included in my book haul. I have so many good books on there, so go watch that next. I'll see you there.